Not to freak you out. Ignore that. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> driver. Adam Driver. Getaway Driver. Yeah, that's what I do. Bad, this is a dad joke, but the. A bad guy on it, or? I was, um, I was like a bad guy. You, you, well, I was a, I was a fine, fine guy. <laughs> I'm Adam Designated Driver. I'm also going to be probably touching in some weird spots. Not my first time. All right, good. No, I'm just kidding. So your shoulders are going there. You didn't prepare for kissing a sheep. No, 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 no. In Indiana, we don't do that. To, it's <laughs> mostly cows. <sighs> this is going bad really quickly. The improvisation. Between takes, I break all my chairs, so people will think I'm like really intense and leave me alone. Okay. Uh, it's a bad joke. Offset. It's uh, good to hide in people's, you know, uh, personal things and like their closets. So I guess that's not <laughs> really personal things. And I don't do that. Uh, this you is going a like dark path. I'm not a big pranking person because I have no fun and have no personality. But oh. I would say that. All right, that's the awkward part. It's never comfortable with your ears, especially my ears. <laughs> Got to bring my mom. She's very excited. <laughs> She's always wanted to come to Hawaii. Now, now she got to, um, and she saw a turtle today. When you run in this thing, it makes like a makes that spring sound. So it's kind of like a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> All I hear was dong, dong, dong. <laughs> And he's up. And he's going. <laughs> What's this stuff right here? That's for the fan. Fan? <laughs> say anything about a fan. I play um, Jabba the Hutt's uh, brother. Mm -hmm. Tim the Hutt, you know, he mm -hmm. has a, a drinking problem and uh, can't find his car throughout the entire movie. I, I mean, I could keep... Have you ever been caught with food stuck in my teeth? Yeah. I'm so used to showing people my teeth to make sure that I don't have, you know, lettuce or um, just a pound of protein. I'm just trying to keep going down the rabbit hole of gross <laughs> images. Fish, maybe, or a small leopard that's not stuck in my teeth. So I, I have no problems with it. I feel like it's a, an act of generosity to tell someone that they're their face is messed up. We're given the opportunity to swap roles with anybody in the Star Wars film franchise. Who would you pick and why? Uh, probably Jabba the Hutt. He doesn't have to go anywhere. People give him um, uh, grapes a lot. He has like a little guy that runs errands for him. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have to worry about weight or time or really anything. Uh, uh, he, and he gets to watch a show where, you know, uh, <laughs> this is just going to a dark place. When it was the little girl, you know, where it's like, I don't think maybe a grown man should sit next to this little girl and start crying about her bone. <laughs> like, it gets into different territory. I just need you to elaborate a little bit on that question for me. Just, I'm sorry. I... Oh, does it come naturally to you? Or do you, you know, do you go to a dark place? I just think about taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I think about taxes. Yeah, I think about I think about taxes. <laughs> and traffic, and I'm, and I'm there. My agent was like, do you want to read for a couple of this movie? And it's... Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm really busy. Like, right, I'm, right. I'm, hmm. <laughs> uh, going grocery shopping right now. <laughs> I'm very ignorant to like what is happening. Uh, not even just like in the uh, this business, but like in my life. <laughs> like, I've been done laundry in weeks. So. <laughs> I have an answer for the other question. <laughs> <laughs> About the most influential person in your life. Well, I would say I would say my wife because she's here, <laughs> but not just because she's here. Uh, of course, my on-screen 
uh, ex-wife, uh, Scarlett Johansson, my uh, real-life wife, uh, and current wife, I guess, uh, 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 Joanne Tucker. She, she can't, she's very uh, supportive. She's not here, but, um, <laughs> but it's because she's in, she's in Africa, actually, uh, um, performing theater for a military audience. So she's, uh, she's not slouching. Yeah. But she's very inspiring to me. I'm grateful to all the people who gave me the opportunity. I'm grateful to the hotel for making great margaritas. I am living in my pickings! I crashed you into the ground! And now your bones turn to oil beneath my living feet! I married your granddaughter! Filled her belly with my festering seed! I can put you wired mics. I can yeah. put four mics up. Be amazing. Oh, four wired. You have four of these. I'll put two of these and two wired. Oh, that'd be amazing. Two. And so you'll have. Oh, four this mics. isn't. This isn't wired. This is wireless. Yeah, of course. Reality and humanity. What we're capable of without superpowers is more interesting. That's about. And Coyote is one of those inspiring characters. Uh, oh, Ren's very good, though. I was going to say, not yeah. all superpowers are bad. So. <laughs> Some are good, like lightsaber. I think that that's a stupid technique, because I can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, I just heard you say that to her. <laughs> <laughs> My husband, Jar Daniel, was stuck at the office all <laughs> Night. My husband Marfaniel was stuck at the office again. Show <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you want to be you and your friend. Very good. Can we use um, this? Let me see. If, uh, they said there wasn't. What do you wish other people understood about you? Nothing. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I read the books. Yes. I'm going to move over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, are you bored by my answer? No, I'm just thinking. We got About it. another question? <laughs> That's what I was doing during your answers. Um, so there's, it's good thing. I things. was just thinking, my mind drifted to Jack. So Star Wars, we... <laughs> So you asked me what I was thinking. So. Yeah, right. No, I could tell you were glazed over. Do <laughs> you think it's just harder being a guy today in terms of awareness and sensitivity and things uh, that we're, uh, messages that are sent to us in the world than it would have been 30 or 40 years ago? No, I, I don't. I... You had the opportunity to see Baby Yoda's first fill in the blank. What would it be? First time eating peanut butter. I remember asking for peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly is not a big thing in England. So there was right. a lot of explanation of what is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Like getting back like a peanut butter with butter. I'm like, what the? What is this? Trust on or off? I mean on because uh -huh. I'm an adult. <laughs> we share the same bread. Blood. Blood. So we give your bread, bread together. <laughs> Something like this, it feeds you or it doesn't. <laughs> or, 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 you know, they, they pick up things. <laughs> yeah, audience is paramount. So, so it's not us who do, is doing bad, it's the audience. Yeah, absolutely. Bodega! Sorry, some kind of fat bird. Just hit my mouth. I, I need a minute. I'm actually nervous right now. You know, <laughs> you don't look nervous. No, it's okay. I'm just <laughs> Seltzer water. I'm okay. Underdog stories. A mo like think mm -hmm. of films that are kind of similar themed. Benji. Benji, yeah, Benji the Hunted. He's, he's a literal underdog. <laughs> yeah, there's actually, not to digress, there was a, a part in Benji the Hunted how he tricks the wolf at the end yeah. and hides behind the, the bush and the, I used to have that reoccurring dream all the time where <laughs> you I was the wolf. The wolf. <laughs> that scared the <laughs> out of me, being the wolf, and I was like, oh, Benji! Oh, sorry, uh, this is my husband, Adam. Hi, heard so many wonderful things about you. Oh, this is our son, Crispy. Hi. 
was a fence to the celebrations on limited backyard and, and fight each other and whoever rode by on their bikes. And, but it know, was very voluntary. You didn't just go up and start. No, we didn't yeah. just like start okay. fighting people. Or, <laughs> or, or go to a car wash and make a thing of it. So anyone could be riding by on their bike yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. could join like in the... Because we're fighting each other. Oh, I'll fight you guys and then we'd fight them. Did you get hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you like... Yeah, 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 you got in fights. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other part of your question, though? Or... Wait, no, I want to I talk about Fight Club. Uh, this is just like the movie. How would it resolve itself? Did you fight until someone was knocked, on, knocked down? I mean, yeah, well, until someone said, you know, ow, or I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I sold vacuum cleaners. Uh, Kirby, well, I can't, can I say the name of the... Sure, why not? Kirby vacuum cleaners. Kirby? Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Which maybe I can't say. So was it door to door? Yeah, oh yeah. Like these are the tubes that the astronauts are using that has no Velcro or, you know, it, it never When worked. were you selling these during the Nixon administration? <laughs> Being the good guy or the bad guy? The bad guy thinks he's the good guy. Oh, Ooh. Oh, <laughs> driver. Driver. <laughs> <laughs> I was a telemarketer. What were you telemarketing? A couple things. One was a, for a basement waterproofing company where you call people and say, you know, is your, is your basement leaky? <laughs> we have a, somebody that'll come by and check it out and make it not so damp. <laughs> it all sounds sexual now that I say it out loud. Just imagine a very sterile penis, and that's mine. <laughs> a very tall, wide, sterile penis. You're being so funny and charming. Like a castle. <laughs> then there's another, there's another, we'd like sell a, a, a what is it? A, like, it's a construction company. And so we'd call and offer Construction. I don't remember that very well. <laughs> you would just say, would you like something constructed? <laughs> it was more, we had like one of these where you're supposed to go Polo down. card you had to go down. Yeah. Go down the checklist and you'd always ask to speak to the man of the house, which was kind of oh, terrible. You know? Yeah, sure. Is it, it wasn't me, I didn't write this script. <laughs> so, cocktails or beers? Beers. Yeah. Are you really? Cocktails. <gasps> So which uh, period of time were you actually from? Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 80s. I'm going to go 80s. Medi gonna... Oh, 80s is good. Like, if it was medieval yeah. times, you have like swords, but no showers. So now yeah. 80s, no swords, lots of showers. <laughs> uh, cars or motorcycles? Oof. Depending on what again. Like just normal traveling around or having fun and like racing and stuff. Having fun and racing. Uh, motorcycles. Motorcycles, I'd say. But I do want to change my answer to cars as opposed to motorcycles. Okay. I think I'm too scared to race race motorcycles. That's a non sequitur, and I just took time away from you and the people that are watching to say that useless uh, information, but I've been thinking about her. it. I yeah. wanted you to know. History musicals, you were in a high school production in Oklahoma? History, history is loose, but yeah, yeah. yeah. First one was, uh, well, I had, the, I had a line in uh, Oklahoma. Check his heart, that was my line. That was your one line, was yeah. check his heart? Yeah, Curly gets shot, right, I think, yeah. at the end. Of, and then uh, there's like all the chorus guys come in, and they're like, what happened? And I say, check his heart, <laughs> which is not really a, a good line. Like, yeah. I just saw this guy get shot. Right. Uh, then the next one was Arsenic and Old Lace. In, oh, like, no my, way. Yeah, my, um, Second year, I played Mortimer Brewster, and um, I haven't thought about this in a long time. <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember. Into the Woods. I into, <gasps> into the Woods. Who yeah. were you in Into the Woods? Wait, can I, were you Jack? No, I was. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, what's the not not Rapunzel's prince, but the other one. Uh, oh, you got to sing Agony. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cinderella's prince, right? Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cinderella's in that, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, the Jungle Book. We did the Jungle Book. That's all coming back to me now. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You actually did so yeah, much. Yeah, we did a lot. I'm like bitching yeah. about my parents grounding me. What would Kylo Ren be like in a marriage? <laughs> Understanding. Gentle uh, mm -hmm. uh, and tall. In Bermuda, and this woman came up to our table, and she's like, "Are you Keanu Reeves?" And they don't trust the new guys with the promos in the studio, so they brought us here to this godforsaken diner to laugh and joke and dance, like everything's okay, but everything's not okay. It's okay. It's a, it's a little intense. We're just—it's just a fun change of pace. Oh, okay. Wee! 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 Right, let's get a little yeah. action. Jazz. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> Justin. We actually had a running joke on Patterson um, that we should also be shooting at the same time Peterson, which is the exact same movie of Patterson, but we're just Peterson's a total. Uh, He's like a bad guy. Uh, where instead of there's like a Mart part in Patterson where like this like girl is reading a poem and then like instead of Patterson being like, oh, it's a beautiful poem that Peterson comes in and is like, that poem sucks. You shouldn't, you should give up now while you're seven. I mean, I don't think I'd come home and I'm like, freeze. When we were shooting Patterson, like I feel like I was a nicer person to be around. Really? And when we were shooting Silence, it wasn't so great, you know? Yeah. So you're just so hungry. You just can't think of a, of a good idea, you know? But then you have a scoop of peanut butter and you're like, I have, I have all these ideas. There's street yams that <laughs> uh, in Taiwan one that uh, you find it. Like, I'll you take my firstborn, just give me a f***ing yam. I came for a, a week and I cheated and like went out and like for a, uh, a night and I had dinner and I'm like, this is a beautiful city, you know, like, Taiwan's a magical place. <laughs> <laughs> These promos are the only time to show pace for food, so hurry, eat as much as you can. Yeah. You're going to be starving later. We're going to be shopping. Uh, right. I love your speech. Thank you yeah. very much. Thanks yeah. so much yeah. for coming. Yeah. Yeah. It really means a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah. How spectacular I feel you are as an actor. I yeah. mean, just amazing. Oh, thank you. That, you know, as you know, means a lot coming from you. I love you. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Lego movie and I cried at that. Um, it probably was the movie or just the altitude. <laughs> Kramer vs. Kramer. I'll just eat cereal and watch it and cry alone, loud. I that <laughs> zombies gravitate towards stuff that they were kind of obsessed with in life, be it like phone or mm. coffee or... What would the thing be? <laughs> but what would be the thing you would gravitate toward? Cereal. Cereal. <laughs> Podcast or like eating cereal? Okay, now I'm lost. <laughs> Lately it's been the, the most boring cereal, those heritage flakes that are almost... Uh, Eat, eat a lot of those. I feel like you got cereal when we went on that. I did, I got puffins. You had a bowl of cereal after the dinner of fish tacos while Kenji did the dishes. That's probably true, yeah. Which is, I hope, wasn't an insult. I just eat a lot of food. No, no, he didn't take it as an insult because he, I think he asked your wife and she said he does that frequently. Yeah, all the time. Just eat, uh, eat, a, eat a dinner and then eat a dinner after the dinner because it's usually not enough. <laughs> and does it matter what the second dinner is? Is it usually cereal? I think, yeah, just whatever is in the house. Got it. That, so cereal's easy. That, that like Jerry Seinfeld thing that he says about cereal where you feel like you're eating and drinking at the same time. <laughs> the, the multitasking of it, it's so easy, you know. Got it. I do little flourishes with the bowl. When you get groups of guys together, the IQ just goes down and everyone just... Uh, grunts at each other and then decides like one guy has a plan and then yeah. the other guy follows through yeah. and everybody else f off. <laughs> An order would have been my first like pr uh, TV job where I, one of them I bought a pair of Air Jordans that I had, I still have, so this is like 10 years ago and I never wore them because I didn't want to mess them up. And then I pulled them out recently because I feel like I should wear them and they had like, you know, start growing bacteria because they, um, I never wore them. <laughs> your sneakers. I was going to say, I like yours. I saw an interview with you and you had on Jays. I think they're like your go-to sneaker. They are, yeah. Art, architecture is really, um, I'm really interested in that. Furniture is something I'm also interested in. I really like, yeah. Like building it or just? No, no, yeah. God, no. Another rumor, and I don't know if this is true, that the also uh, part of the MREs is it's supposed to um, uh, like condense your bowel movements so that they are more succinct. <laughs> that was uh, That was also... I love the idea. First of all, I, I'm going to forever walk away from this interview with succinct bowel movements. Yeah, yeah. Happy that you're here tonight. What well, does it mean you. to you? Um, I'm, I'm not sure what it means. It's a, it's a kind of cyclone of things happening, so I'm just uh, walking slow. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. I live to push the boundaries of fashion. Here are some red carpet looks that you can use at home. This is a black suit. It's not much to say. It's a black suit. Looking very playful. As you can see, I'm on the verge of a full smile. This is my most controversial look. Hope you're not watching this on a work computer. A buddy of mine saw Kylo Ren take his shirt off in the shower, and, and he said that Kylo Ren had an eight pack. That Kylo Ren was shredded. Oh, and for this one, I just throw out the belt. It's very comfortable, but breezy. Awkward publicly, comfortable personally. Did they tell you up front you were going to kill Han Solo? 
They did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did J- you think, oh, God, like... Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Piss off people everywhere for the rest yeah, of their life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was part of it, too, was he, he told me that plot detail. Oh, <laughs> where dear. I was like, oh, fuck. Adam, yeah. do you lose your hand? Look at all these graphics that are in this uh, thing. There's a lot of, uh, if you actually pay attention, all of the, the stars are blinking. Not happy right now, Adam. It's I'm not, not just, happy. Uh, it's not just Adam, static. Adam, over here. Star Wars just wrapped filming, and I know you can't say anything about the story. It did. It, it did wrap, just wrap. Oh, it wrap. did. Okay, cool. Oh, it, oh I don't know. I don't oh, know. did it? I don't know if it has. Or oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, he's yeah. good. Where are you, Kylo Ren? Here I am. <laughs> Can you believe who my parents turned out to be? Wasn't it shocking? No, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'll wait. I'm done. You left your... <laughs> On three, let's say who my parents were. One, two, three... Stephen Colbert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it goes in the thing and he takes a nap. Yeah. Uh, just tell us everything that happens in episode nine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lightsaber that he uses. And Jones has an interesting theory that he, you know, um, found online about uh, <laughs> about uh, Star Wars. Uh, it's a good report that you should read. Uh, <laughs> drowning Ta- here. The Tauntaun uh, report. Yeah, right. <laughs> How does he keep his hair so lustrous and shiny? There's combs inside the helmet. Combs, it's like miniature combs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you think of them as miniature, but I think of them as essential. <laughs> yeah. So that's why when he comes up, he kind of comes up out of the helmet like that. Like a shampoo commercial. That's what it is. Got it. Um, These are easy. <laughs> <laughs> I should stop you and say things. No, only ch- small children. Oh. Yeah, they, who are very confused by it. And I say, well, you know, that's, that's your opinion. You know, no one asked you. Uh, uh, you're, you're seven when you get older. I'm sorry you're crying now, but you'll get over it. And then they walk away, and I feel better about myself. <laughs> Fred, I guess patricide's a tough thing yeah, for a father that? to explain to his kids. <laughs> yeah. You probably just say, well, I don't know why he did it, but you should never do it. Right. <laughs> but it's an easy thing to understand once yeah. you have kids. Yeah. Right, exactly. I try to, like, uh, be covert or, you know, wear a hat, or, but it's just like, look, look, Adam's wearing a hat walking down <laughs> the street. <laughs> But also the uh, dealing with the kid part of it is really great. Aggressively, yeah, want to touch you, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. or like punch you. Mostly yeah. like little kids and their parents. They'll you know, punch you at all times. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and they're at the certain height that it's more dangerous. The kids in my building, they're they're always like, you know, good morning, Kylo Ren. So it's like, you know, good morning, Kylo Ren. I'm like morning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo needs his coffee. But just give me a second. Say like, hello, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Could you like shut up I'm in the morning? So, like, <laughs> like running around upstairs, you know, oh, okay, you know, bye. Before, parents were like, stay away from my kids. And now they're like, get up there and take a picture. You'll, you'll appreciate it later. Kind of. What's the secret? Uh, well, man, I can't say anything. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Better than the prequel, right? It's going to be better than the prequel. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about like a very specific incident where yeah. there was like a car crash outside of a, a like a coffee shop. Went outside and uh, there's like someone in the building across the street was like yelling out their window like, is everybody okay? Is everybody okay? And then there was the guy, the SUV who crashed into the, he kind of got out and he was dazed and she, the woman was in the car, she was crying. And in the midst of that, Somebody brought up their kid and was like, hi, you know, oh. like big Star Wars fan. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And yeah. uh, I randomly had like a hundred dollar bill in my, I, I don't have a hundred dollar bills I just, in my pockets, but I had it in my coffee and like an awkward picture with this kid with like a hundred dollar bill with like <laughs> the paramedics rushing in the background. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> Newsweek magazine called you a millennial sex symbol. Are you, do you like that? I mean, that's, that's no, nice. No, that, yeah, that's, that's nice, yeah. 
<laughs> oh God. Must be. You jump, you move, you know, it's like. It's, a, it, it's not so bright. It's, it's so obvious. I mean, you all done so very, they just have a very, you know, this is turning into like, no, I love you. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We do love Adam. How do you wrap your head around this year? <laughs> I don't. I just kind of go where they tell me to go. And then I, I show up and they say, say this, and I try to do that. Talk about your 2019, man. I, it's, it's too much. Too, too much on my face. How did you guys build that? I know it was a, a rather short timeline, right? <laughs> Each of the cast members, can you talk about what attracted you to the project uh, as a whole, but also specifically playing the characters? <laughs> Annette, can we begin there's no, with There's you? no door. There's no door. There is no exit. Can you talk about what attracted you to the project and your experience with them? <laughs> <laughs> Is he rejected been so long, I should not use those words. Wow, he's really thinking about it. We are best friends, yes. We're not best friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on this side. We're very, we're very good friends. So we're... <laughs> we're best friends. No, we're best friends. Yes, we are. All right, it's just been declared Adam Driver Day. All right. What's happening on that day? A lot of wind sprints, and then eating chili, and then just not doing anything for a while. Just, just, just kind of like maybe uh, swimming in pools, finding stray dogs. Finding stray dogs. Building them houses and moving on. <laughs> building them houses. <laughs> Reminds of a, a pit mix, and his brother was being bought by somebody else. This like other couple uh, who were going to name him like Fettuccine Alfredo or something. What the f are you talking about? Moose. Moose is our dog. He looks like a moose. He's very big. He's like 70 pounds. I kept bothering her about getting a dog for a while. I think it was just I was on a tangent at Halloween. Like, Halloween, you know, like what is a ridiculous holidays bullshit. If I had a dog, play with my dog on Halloween. I don't have to see kids all the time. And she's like, well, I'm getting you a goddamn dog for your birthday. So shut up. And I'm like, oh, really? Let's just go right now. Let's go get a dog right now. <laughs> Let's candy. We'll just leave it downstairs, you know. <laughs> They just come in the lobby anyway. We saw a dog online that we liked then uh, before we went just to kind of like, and we went and we're like, oh, oh is Rusty here? And they're like, what'd you say? They're like, is, uh, there's a dog Rusty, is Rusty here? And they're like, hold on one second. And then they left and someone came back. They were like, oh, you were asking about Rusty? And we're like, yeah, Rusty's an interesting, uh, he's a unique dog. And we're like, F it, we're not gonna, <laughs> Rusty, we'll, <laughs> Show us the puppies. Who are they gonna bring up? I can't, you wanna meet Rusty? What if he was like totally calm? A serial killer. Hey, hey guys, I'm Rusty. <laughs> they told us actually to keep us away from each other because we're supposed to be like, you know, contentious, but it never works because we, um, we always like, you know, yeah. found each other. <laughs> But then, then, yeah, then, it, then, it, then, then, uh, then it died. Wow. Yeah. I'm not going to end on that note. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, lost a leg uh, for a while. Just keep going. Really? Yeah, lost a leg and was on just three for a while. And then uh, yeah. I remember the first piece of music that, that as a as a as a kid or maybe a teenager that really you, you bought that album and you wore it out and it kind of became the soundtrack to you. Actually, Rachmaninoff, I would say that was like the first. Uh, I'm not. You can't say that without sounding like a pretentious. Uh, how do you maintain your authenticity as a person and as an actor in an industry concerned? <laughs> Kathy Hood called me on my cell phone and asked me if I wanted to be uh, a part of Group 38, the, ne the next class, and uh, I said yes. Yeah, these pennies are going to look great on this push's booty. <laughs> Whoa, sorry ma'am, it's not what it looks like. So they placed me in a cast iron pot inside of a pizza oven until I was ripe enough to walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a, a, a dream that would be to go there. I've actually done a silent retreat before at Juilliard. They did, I don't know if they do this anymore, but it's like f***ing actors getting together at a silent retreat was like a joke. Because <laughs> instead of using words, it was like pantomiming, you know, like, you know. 
tea and uh, washing yourself. And, kind of like, and you have to share the shower. Not, not, not like together. Not but, at the same time. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been great. <laughs> With your uh, wife at Juilliard. I did, yeah. yeah. Uh, is, uh, has she come and seen it uh, with you and Carrie yet? Yeah, yeah, she's uh, been a couple times. Gotcha. She, she has to come. <laughs> is that, a, is that one mandated. of the rules? Yeah, mandated? yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because then she, she's br brutally honest. Oh, that's really good. I'm, I mean this truly, it's an asset. No, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, and you know there's somebody booing, it's usually her. <laughs> yeah. It's like, boo! <laughs> well, I did a monologue from a monologue book. I hadn't even read the play. Um, <laughs> And that I found at Barnes and Nobles, I think. Which, yeah. I don't know if Barnes and Nobles around, but that's another plug. Yeah, guess, seriously. Yeah. Is, is you're gonna you're gonna catch hell from Amazon. Yeah, for which that. is like yeah. the hell, uh, opposite of Amazon. <laughs> but Amazon's way better. <laughs> yeah, of course. The first time you've been on the show, so you don't know that we always end in song. Oh, that we sing? We sing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do it with you if you want. You no, you're gonna throw that. At no, me? no, I'm just gonna no, hold it. I really <laughs> felt that. I saw some anger. I thought, here it goes. Okay. People have thrown it at me. Really? Yeah. Oh, but no, it could that. be a pleasant song. It could be, you know, back home again in Indiana. What were your parents singing to you when you would wake up and they'd say, "Good morning, Kylo Ren." No, they'd say, "Good they morning, say, piece of." <laughs> you're another <laughs> money suck in this household. <laughs> you know, I gotta feed you. What song you. follows that? Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> it must be a song in your head and in your heart, Adam Driver. Oh, no songs in my heart. It's a black it's heart. A, it's, yeah, a, it's, a, it's a black heart. So just world. in the head, you're not even singing to the Marines? No, we didn't We didn't sing to each other a lot. <laughs> 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 Guys, I got a song in me. I got to get out. <laughs> you yeah. just, you do. You got to say that yeah. to them. Yeah, you might Haven't know you it. Have you seen La La Land? You are it's my all... sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Do, so, just a piece of it. You were almost there, no, no, no. Adam. What's, what's you were almost uh, there. Robert De Niro. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay, we can do that. Twinkle, twinkle, little yeah, star. Yeah, I think I can even handle that. Okay. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little, little star. star. How, how I, I wonder, wonder what you are. That's it. Up above um, the world so high. high. Like, when I'm done, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and again, we come to the end of the show, as we did the last <laughs> time, where when I asked you to sing just a little moment <laughs> of something. Such panic, no, right? no, you said, you said, I was having a good time until you did this. <laughs> I'm not a singer, right? And then people go to Marriage Story and watch him do like a Sondheim aria of being alive. I sat there watching that. It was the only time it took me out of the movie. And I said, that bastard. <laughs> being alive, being alive. And he does maybe the toughest 11 o'clock number, as they call them, in Broadway history, you know? <laughs> when you're like, you know, sing a, sing a, like, you know, sing Jingle Bells as you, as opposed to like, you know, sing, uh, I don't know why Jingle Bells is the song. I, <laughs> I don't know, but you remember the song you did sing for me? No. Twinkle, twinkle, little oh, star. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I got. Uh, so yeah. I'm just asking for a monocle, a small, oh, man. little, come on, look at this. Oh. Fearless actor. No, no, no. Yes. But, but you have to this play a it. character, and that's easier to... Well, okay, to... play somebody. No, no, How, no, what no. would Kylo Ren be singing? <laughs> Right now, I'm you not, know, can't well, I can't, you can't do twinkle, twinkle. I won't, you I won't do You have to do a little bit of something different <sighs> that's there. Da, 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 da. What is that? That's being alive. Oh, okay. That you do sing. <laughs> I guess right, I, I didn't out. do it quite yet. Yeah. Um, it's panic time now. Uh, oh, man. I've all the time I have, in the I world. I thought of a song actually Excellent. that relates to travel, Excellent. but, um, but I, I don't have to sing the whole no, thing. No, right? not at all. All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. Oh, this is terrible. I'm standing here outside your door. <laughs> And that's it. Then I wait. I um, you're not leaving. I hate to. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. So kiss me and smile for me. <laughs> oh God! Tell me that you wait for me. Hold it like a little bit. We go because I'm leaving <laughs> now. Now he is leaving now, people. Yeah. I trust me. When you see him oh, in man. Marriage Story, you'll hear what he could do. Oof. And. Aren't you now going uh, with Leos Carrox and making a musical? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're actually, yeah, we're shooting and it now. And you, you sit here yeah. and do this, <laughs> and then uh, I can't touch it. But no, I'm, this is course, like a nightmare. I'm, it's a nightmare, so it'll be <laughs> so much fun on that set. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not fun on that set. <laughs> no, no it, it actually, actually is credible. A really musical. Fun on that set. A musical. <laughs> yeah, 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 but it's like an opera, so we're... I think you're doing this just to taunt me. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know? no, no. 
Someone to pull you up short, to put you through hell. Clearly a man with nothing to hide. And now I'm in a whole new world with you. Stay tremendo. Didn't I read that you, at one point, you were eating a whole chicken every day for lunch? I was, yeah, when I was in school. I was eating a whole chicken every day. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. I don't know. I, I couldn't answer that. One day I had a whole chicken and like a, a foot long sub from Subway, and I'm like, this has got to stop. I to school with him. He was a fourth year real moody? Was uh, he's not actually. He's actually we're, a really nice guy. Just, people were all commenting on the websites. They're like, he's such a scrawny little. How could that guy be a Jedi? He's so, you know, wimpy. He is so. <laughs> ripped you guys have no of course idea. he is carry his Plop? roaster chicken it. with him i did and go to all of his classes and like consume chicken Dr- driver's the only alpha that i've ever met in my life true alpha hello my name is adam driver sorry for the very strange background my phone is about to die and this is the closest outlet hi my name is adam driver i'm uh um, here at another exotic location, a blue wall. When girls wrapped up, did you take anything? Did you take any mementos? A particular pair of sweatpants that I wore from the first season where we had to be naked a lot uh-huh. the show, so I would always wear these sweatpants, and none, yeah. none of my sweatpants fit me, so I just took them. What's it like to hang up your lightsaber? Good, good. I, <laughs> I also have it, so I, I literally oh, okay. hung it up. You know. uh-huh. I, it's in a box, but it's hung in the box. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have the helmet and a hilt. Just walking around, you know, obviously it can't be out because it, you know, yeah. cut off your legs or <laughs> ruin the floor. I, I took a lot of stuff this last time. I have a whole costume. Legally? Does JJ know that you yeah, did yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I asked because they'll hunt you down, Disney's right. Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Matt. Thank you. Jeremiah! Time to make you goodbye. Yeah, 21 3. We're live. No, 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 third quarter. This is the third quarter. Ah, uh, Jeremiah, you got us. Can we, uh, again? Oh, Jeremiah, you have saved our town. Just doing what's right, ma'am. Jesus! It was in my face for so long. No, but it's soft now, so I can do that gummy thing. <laughs>